All right, ladies and gentlemen, as the time officially winds down on the last couple of days on my trip here in uh, Suwon, South Korea, I just wanted to take time to reflect on my experiences being here so far, things that I learned, things that I think that you guys should take into consideration. I kind of pretty much put them in videos, I believe, but we'll just call this one of those quick sum up videos. First things first, guys, you have got to make sure that you download those apps that I talked about in a previous video. The Naver app, N-A-V-E-R, is a lifesaver. It got me around the city quick and easy, helped me understand walking, buses, and things like that. I did not get a chance to take the train. Maybe the next time around I will, but um, the Kakao Metro that I told you to download, that'll help you figure out the... Uh, Train situation more so than the Naver app, but in combination of both of those, definitely some apps you need to have, all right? Because I was able to get around and travel relatively well. You know what I'm saying? I got lost a little bit along the way, but hey, that is what traveling is all about. So getting lost and learning new things and figuring out, okay, you ain't never going to make this mistake again. That's pretty much what traveling is all about, okay? Um, but as I, you know, wind down on this experience, man, I loved every bit of it. Um, I do recognize now that being able to know at least the minimal amount of the actual language here will do you a solid. Cause like I said, sometimes names on buildings are in Korean, you know, trying to talk to and or have conversations with, ask where things are just like in any location, I believe just the minimal amount of the language. Where's this? How can I get here? And they'll say, oh, say hello, thank you. You know, it's just, it's just the basic shit. Probably be super, super beneficial to you guys. And that's something you should already know. But had a great time now mentally transitioning myself into Philippine mode. <laughs> if that's, excuse me, the best way to call it. I'm gonna call it Philippine mode. Because as many of you guys know, this is my first time back or my first time going back to the Philippines post-COVID, right? So my last time there was 2019, just before all this stuff happened. Now I'm going back. So it's almost as if I'm going back for the first time, right? Almost as if all my experiences that I had before are pretty much not necessarily null and void, but it's going to be a new way of experience in the Philippines, right? Because there's a lot of things that are new when it comes to the travel process. And thank God, I was talking to the wife. She got mad at me because she was like, hey, babe, you know, you got to sign up for this um, e-travel thing or this e-travel portal or this egov.app.ph that you should download. I'm going to bring it up here on my phone real quick, show you kind of what it looks like. Because this is what you need, aside from a valid passport, good for six months, time stay in there, of course, the actual, um, what else was there? It was something else. Valid ticket showing that, of course, you plan to go somewhere else, you know, and leave the Philippines. You're not just going to stay there, and this isn't just a one-way ticket. And, of course, this is kind of the app. If you can see it, it says e-travel documentation. You can download the thing on Google Play, or you could just go to the e-travel for free. I pretty much just signed up for the website. And once you sign in or you sign up using your email and all of that stuff, you'll plug in your travel information, passport information and all that stuff. And by the time I arrive, because you can do so or you can put in all your travel information up to 72 hours in advance of or upon arrival to the country. Um, so I did mine now just to go ahead and get it out the way. But it's going to issue you a QR code, right? So that's something that's going to scan, you know, when you you know, go through immigration, customs, all that stuff. I don't know exactly what area, but guess what? That's what I'm here to figure out. Again, the wife got upset with me because she told me about it. She was like, babe, just let me do it for you. Da, 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 da. I was like, babe, don't get mad at me. This is the only way that I'm going to be able to tell other people who have not actually gone to the Philippines just yet. And I'm sure the greater majority of y'all, at least 50% or more of you have already been to the Philippines since, you know, 2019. So you guys are probably familiar with this process already. But for those that aren't, I was like, babe, I got to be able to do it. I got to be able to show them this is what you're supposed to do. If I got my wife helping me and babysitting me and holding my hand like she always do, they ain't going to think I'm a man, right, type shit. But I told her I would take care of it myself. But outside of a valid passport, outside of a ticket showing that you guys 
have to leave the country, which is the standard, and that's always been the way that it's been since I've been traveling there a long time ago. This e-portal or this e-travel thing is new, right? It's a newer thing, at least for me, right? Within the last couple of years, I believe. Um, you fill out the information, flight coming in. I guess it's kind of like taking place of like the health concerns or the uh, health portal that they may have had back in the day. I'm not familiar with it, but it's basically taking the place of that. Um, and I guess that's the way they're going to track you, right, um, as you enter said country. So I wanted to make sure I dropped that tidbit of information for you before we go and get to getting. But again, Korea has been awesome. Korea has treated me well. Shout out to my OG, triple OG, OG, triple, triple. And, you know, my sister-in-law, they kind of made this particular trip the easiest it could possibly be for me. You know what I'm saying? Because imagine coming to a country and having to figure out all this shit on your own, right? Figuring out the metros, figuring out how to use the buses, figuring out all this shit. It could be a pain in the ass, right? In order to get it right. But it only took me a day, a day and a half to really figure out how to move and groove around here. And if I had not known, probably would have taken me weeks or months or something to that effect. Had I not had help, I should say, it would have probably taken me a long time. So it's always good. And this is nothing that I'm telling you that's brand new, but it is always good to have somebody that can help you out. I don't care if it's just some young lady that you're talking to. And what I found out is you're probably not going to get too many applications that are catered towards, you know, uh, foreign guys talking to Korean women. But they do have these language exchange type of applications wherein you got Korean young ladies looking to speak English. And then, of course, if you're an American trying to or a foreigner trying to learn to speak Korean, that's kind of a way that I think would be ideal if you're looking to find somebody to talk to, get involved in the language exchange, exchange applications and programs and stuff, because these are probably the only applications that foreigners can participate and interact with Korean women without it being an application that is strictly for Korean people, written in Korean, no English translation, right? Because those can be a pain if you don't know what you're talking about or if you don't know what it is that you're reading, all right? So as the sun sets on this last day, it's been real, ladies and gentlemen. It's been real. And the next time you see me or the next video that possibly comes out will be my travels back to my second home, ladies and gentlemen, to the Philippines. And I'm probably more excited than you guys will ever know. Expect more content. Expect more shit to talk about. If you guys have anything that you want me to discuss, by all means, I would say leave it below this video. I'll come back, read the comments and things. Anything that you want me to try to lock in on, go see while I'm in the Manila area because I'm going to be there for a little bit of time. Not too long before we slide on over to Davao. But I have, you know, some time to just chill and relax in Manila before moving on to the um, next destination within the country. So, you guys got anything you want me to um, check out in Manila? show you guys i'll be glad to do it make a couple of walking videos you know so that you guys can you know walk along with me trail along with me and uh you know see what i see all right so i just want to take you guys along for the journey for all of you who rock with the good doc appreciate you man this channel wouldn't exist without you um and for all of the newbies that may you know tag along along the way and say hey we just found your channel I appreciate you guys for locking in too, all right? So, not gonna waste too much more of your time. Go ahead and uh, enjoy my last evening here <laughs> uh, in South Korea before we go and get to getting and make that uh, transition over to the Philippines, man. I can't wait. Korea's been a joy. They treated me well here. No complaints whatsoever, right? And I hope that if you ever decide to come here, by all means, you do so, right? Have a little bit of fun, figure it out, you know, what makes things work for you, okay? And if you do, you come back, tell the good that I've had time in my life, man. I appreciate it, all right? So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, has been fun, it has been real time for good not to go and get to get. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care. God bless. Dog is out. Peace.